Hi friends, Diana here from Garden Love. This morning when I woke up, I decided to go on Facebook and look at some of the gardening groups. There was one gardening group here in my area that someone was sharing some sugar canes, which I've been looking for some for a while. Um, Lead Farmer 73 grows them really well and he just posted a few videos on that a little bit ago and I've been wanting to grow some because you can grow them in containers and in the ground and as you guys know I don't have a lot of space so I'm going to be growing them in containers I'm on my way there and I want to show you guys she also told me she had a huge edible garden so I'm hoping we can get a sneak peek of that um, and I, if she allows me to record it I would love to share it with you guys so let's go I'm so excited to bring you along this journey this is such a fun adventure I'm actually going to be growing some sugar canes and I am thrilled to be giving it a try if you're new to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about urban gardening and growing things in your backyard and making the max out of your space that you're working with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notifications so you can get notified for more videos like this. Let's go, friends. Oh, you have Waba. Yeah. <gasps> we love the Waba in my channel. And oh my god, you have fish! That's awesome! Yeah, we got awesome. some koi fish in there. We just That's... put that because of raccoons. Yeah, yeah. Got Wait, this is all metal? Yeah. That is so cool. And you do the little waterfall so it mm -hmm. can filter the water, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that. And then we have the orange tree. Yeah. And then that's a lemon tree. Behind it's a plum tree. That's so cool. Do you yeah, mind if I work? So cool. I'm scared of bugs, so. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> if you're not scared of bugs, then you'll, you're fine. Trying to see an orange to see what kind of orange it is. Uh, I think they're the Valencia. They're orange. Valencia? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here's one again. Okay, so see, this is the same orange I have. It's a Valencia um, navel orange. Mm. You know that it's navel because it has a little belly button. How fun. So, these are so good. Another waba tree. I wonder if that sprouted. Did, did you plant that waba or did it just sprout on its own? No, my dad planted it. Oh, okay. Because I know waba sometimes will send up shooters and they'll start growing. Oh, yeah, I know. He planted it. Wow. Is it the pink waba or Mexican waba? No, I don't know. He's, he's one that's very particular about his waba. Yeah. I'm, I have one in a container and it's starting to bloom right now. Yeah, you can see him right here. Awesome. He has little, he has little kumquats too. I don't know where he has that one. Oh, I cut them back because they were too pokey. <laughs> oh. This is mandarin. Oh, yummy. I wonder if this is satsuma mandarin. I have one of those I as love well. satsuma. Do you have them? Is this it? I don't I don't know. I think it's a it's a mix of the tangerine and orange, so it's the little mandarin ones. Oh, yummy. And then these are Anna apples. Is that tamarindo? No, that's a uh, wahes. Wahes? Mm -hmm. Huh, I don't know wahes. Yeah, they go, they grow in Mexico. He took, he brought that from Mexico too. Is it edible? Yeah, it's he like salsa with it. Really? It smells really gross, but when he makes it with food, it tastes good. Wow. <laughs> so if anybody in my channel is familiar with that, I'd love to hear in the comments to see what you guys have to say about this plant. I've seen the plant, haven't seen the fruit, but you can tell it's edible because it has those little pots down there. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like little moringa pots or little bean pots. You guys see those? interesting oh wow these are your whole trees full mm -hmm. anna apples yep come wow. on I just eat that one. holy moly it is loaded you can see the trunk and it had a lot of um like suckers that grew into branches mm -hmm. and now there's apples even on those branches Look at that. You guys must make a lot of pies or yes. applesauce. A lot. Wow. That's something I'm not good at baking. I make a bunch of like an apple preserve, uh -huh. like apple pie filling, and I just give them away. Oh. This is our peach tree, but it was so full of peaches this year that two of the branches broke. Oh. So. That happens. And this is the early peach, so these come in April. So you guys already harvest yeah, the whole. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. And then we have this cherry tree. It just barely gave us 10 cherries this year. <laughs> oh my god, I have one in a container and it gave me two cherries. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Tonight. Yeah, we had a, um, a lot of chill hours this year. So, he gave us fruit. This is raspberry. And they're in containers. And these are blueberries. Wow. Oh, yeah. And these bromelias are amazing. And I can see that your dad propagates. Mm -hmm. So he's rooting some stuff there. What are those? Are those lemon seeds or? I don't know. He, he just loves, like he has a whole bunch over here too. <laughs> Look at all the blueberry guys. So much fun. Yeah, my three-year-old, he just eats them. Yeah, little bear. they go shopping in the garden. I love that. Yeah, he had chilies, but I don't know where he has those. Like I said, he makes salsa and stuff. A huge pomegranate. It's amazing because these are like three dollars at the store mm -hmm. just for one, and people can just easily grow them just like this. Just need a little space. It's awesome. So, so fertile. I think that's another cherry tree. I think so. And oh, yeah. here, oh, here's the plant that we were talking about. That, um, oh, there we go. Open it, and the seeds are all in here. And you eat them. I remember mm -hmm. now. I'm mm -hmm. from Mexico, and I remember this tree. I recognize the leaves, but mm -hmm. I didn't remember the pots. But right now that you grabbed yeah. on, I totally remember. Yeah, he just snaps them, and then he eats them. Like I said, yes. they smell gross, but... <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, these grow like weeds. Yeah. Like, do they start? Just one, and then the seeds flew everywhere, and now they're like. That's why they're popping out everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Oh, they have an avocado tree. Yes, it's so cool. I love it because avocados are so delicate mm -hmm. when you first plant them. We had one in the front where the guava uh -huh. was, and it was like raining so hard. He made me run out in the rain yes. to cover it. <laughs> oh, and I see his method is he puts the container, he puts the tree with the container inside okay. and then surround it. I wonder, does he cut the bottom off? Um, eventually when it has the roots. Yeah, he cuts it off. And this is so cool and he's really good because it's true avocados are so delicate to our heat here mm -hmm. in Santa Clarita and also they don't like frost when they're small mm -hmm. so he did a really good job yes you need to take care of them the first few years and eventually they're big enough to um, get some damage to some of their leaves but they have so many leaves under that they'll just bounce back up yeah he's this is like his third time trying yeah, he's, so he's gonna, like I'm protecting this. So oh, it's gonna work this time <laughs> for sure. You can already see the tree's very happy. I love how he did a little like hedge around it so he can water and all the water can go down. As you guys seen, her garden was amazing. I'm so happy she allowed me re she allowed me to record and share with you guys. For now, I am going to store these in my house. I'm gonna dip them in water for now because I have to work. I have to leave to work pretty soon, so I won't be able to do this project today. I am going to just um, hydrate them in water so they're ready to go for tomorrow so I can up pot them in containers. You can see that they have little roots kind of about to spurt up right there, or little, um, I'm not sure what they call, what they're called, it's just kind of like a, big leaf that's gonna shoot up like a bamboo and that's gonna be my sugar cane guys i'm so excited to have this here i've been wanting some of these i didn't know where to buy them these are actually from mexico um her dad brought them from his dad's um farm this is that's what they do for a living she mentioned that they grow these in mexico and they were lucky enough to bring one little piece years years and years ago and ever since then they've been just propagating multiplying their sugar cane and growing them they're growing like crazy that's why they were giving these away because they felt bad just throwing them away and 
they wanted it to go to a good home and allow somebody to grow these amazing sugar canes i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys you guys have been so amazing here on my channel supporting me and all my videos giving me thumbs a lot thumbs up some newcomers have been subscribing and everybody has been leaving a comment which i love i love reading everything you guys have to say you guys give me such good input you guys always have good information to share with me and i love it because other people can read what you guys are leaving in the comments down below and you guys teach me so much so i am so happy to be part of this community i really appreciate you guys but for now i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye